school sport. Uh, Rick, the next uh, fight I wanted to ask you about, and I know you're going to have a, a very spirited take on this, is uh, the PB, was, it was a PBC pay-per-view with Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner. What, what did you make of the, the performance from Adrian Broner and Manny Pacquiao on the night? Well, it was what I said all along. I, I, he was in strip joints in South Florida, uh, Broner was, and he was training to lose weight. He wasn't training to win a fight. And that's exactly what he did. He came in, made his appearance, he picked up his paycheck and went home. He's, he sucks. He can't fight a lick. He don't have a prayer. Okay. Yeah. And he's not beating anybody good. When he when, when he was a weight bully, when he weighed thirty and thirty five, he was beating guys. He moves up to forty and forty seven. He can't beat him with the fight. He never beat Melanaji. They robbed him. They robbed Melanaji. Yeah. I mean, they robbed a lot of fighters against Broner. They a lot of fighters have been robbed against him. Well, I know that. Yeah. I know that. Really, but truthfully, he, I, I look at Broner as like a damn near nine loss fighter. Well, let's put it this way to you. I'll give you my opinion of Broner. Right? Ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an underachiever because he does have some skills and he does have some speed. He, he has the heart of a P, okay? He doesn't have enough desire to go, go for it and, and try to win. And he's so unruly outside the ring. He, he, I heard from a reliable source when he stepped on the scale for the first time for the fight, he weighed 228 pounds. Uh, and I said to the guy, are you positive? He says, well, he says, that's what I was told. I says, well, did you see it? No, but I was told. I says, okay, well, go call somebody else that was there. Find out who was from the guy you told him who was there. Okay, he called me. He says, hey, we're 228. I go, that guy's supposed to make 47, so add that up. Okay, add that up. That's 53 and 28. Add that up for you. Okay, 80 friggin' pounds. I mean, come on. You can't do that to yourself. You can't do that to yourself. And and you know what? Losing weight, training to lose weight, and training to win are completely two different things. Don't ever forget that. Absolutely, because when you train, when you train to lose weight, you're just training to survive and get your check and make sure you go with home with your faculties in check. When you train well, to win, you're training did. to. That's what he yeah. did. That's what I had said going in, going into the fight was going to happen, because I had gotten word from a guy. Put it this way to you: the guy who told me this, he 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 provides a service to strip joints down in Florida. Okay. okay? He's in he's in the he's in the debit that uh, ATM card business. Okay, he services those ATM cards. He told me the manager, one of the strip trains, told him that he's, I don't know how many hours a day he trains, but he spends three hours a night in our joint leading up to the fight. Well, guess what? He ain't in the gym three hours a day, so there's your answer. He spent more time in the strip joint than he is in the gym. That's, 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 that's symbolic. That's horrible. That's yeah, bad. that's horrible. Yeah. So uh, what what can I say? You know, I'm just... Yeah. I'm just me, and I'm just making observations, you know. 